G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and it's a terrible day here in sunny southeast Queensland. Well, in fact, it's it's not sunny at all. It's been raining for about the last three days. It's winter time. I wanted to bring you a midweek video because one of our trees, it's a small citrus that we've been growing for about three years. It's called a sunrise lime. It's in fruit. The fruit are ready to pick. I wanted to bring you this video before a, the fruit fell off the tree or something ate them or something else happened. It's just a good example at the moment and it's a really great little tree. I'm excited that we're growing it. We have about a hundred plus fruit trees here and I don't say that just to brag or maybe maybe a little bit but the reason why we grow so many fruit trees and I've said this before is because you just can't get the whole range of fruit that you know I would like from the local supermarket. So therefore, to get the maximum variety as possible, we like to grow our own fruit trees, buy different types of exotics, try different trees, try different fruits, and experience those many thousands of fruit trees and fruits that, you can, that, you, that are grown around the world, but are never sold in the supermarket simply because they're not economical to do so for a variety of reasons. Now, as the rain comes down, Let's just get into it and have a look at this sunrise lime. All right, we'll go past this little Maya lemon tree. Remember my lots of lemons video? Well, here it is again. I released that about 12 months ago, that lots of lemons video, and it's, uh, it's, you know, I picked all that fruit off and now it's all fruiting again, another million fruit on it. But here's the sunrise lime. I hope the camera isn't gonna get all fogged up and droplets everywhere because it is coming down now. And I wanna get this in. You can see they're an oblong fruit, about the size of a oblong kumquat. You know, most kumquats are round and I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. The leaves are quite small. From your standard citrus like say this Valencia orange over here you can see how big the leaves are whereas this one isn't now I'm going to give this a taste test but before I do I wanted to just explain how this tree came about it's a hybrid but it's a hybrid between basically three different types of citrus a calamondin which is a hybrid itself between a kumquat and a mandarin crossed with our Australian native finger limes. And those finger limes are got a lime fruit shaped like my finger, about as thick as that. And in the middle, it's got this caviar type flesh. And as you eat, they pop in your mouth and it's got a beautiful limey citrus taste. Great for cocktails and drinks and putting in food. And it's uh, it turning into quite a big industry now in Australia anyway. Let's have a taste of this sunrise lime. We'll pick one that's fairly ripe. You can eat them unripe. Like, that's about a typical size. This is about a typical size here. This is a quite a big one. You have a look at this one here. That's quite large. They're typically smaller than that. And, uh, we do also have another native lime to Australia that's quite famous that I'd never ever tried and I've got one growing, just a small one, but my mother used to tell me about it. She lived out on a farm, Western Queensland, out at Chinchilla. And she used to come across these wild lime bushes uh, all the time out in the, out in the scrub. And she used to love them and she hadn't tried one for the last 30 years since she left the farm or more than that and she so i asked her is this similar is this sunrise lime similar and she said no it's not at all and as i looked into it i reckon the one she's talking about is that outback lime because it is native to this area and it has a a lime that's similar to this but it's typically green when you pick them um, and they're Maybe a little smaller than this actually. Uh, so, but it's a different plant. This isn't a cross between the outback lime 
this is uh, like I said a, a cross between uh, different citrus all together anyway let's have a taste of this so you eat them with the I have tried them before there's a little tiny seed there I don't know, normally notice the seeds but they're really sweet now before I showed you this lime I was out in the front yard and I taste tested a kumquat and I can tell you oh the sun's just coming out a little bit the kumquat is nowhere near as good as this this is sweet the skin is beautiful Oh, it's a real delicious fruit to eat. Everything's sweet about it. You don't have, have a terrible aftertaste from the skin. The skin's lovely. It's a real pleasure. And, and I'm excited to, in the future, work out what I'm going to use it for in salads, uh, in cooking, eating fresh, uh, maybe as a dessert sort of liqueur, you know, just like you would do with kumquats. So, um, yeah, it's a really beautiful tasting fruit. And I hope they open up like an export market or say to sell these trees around the world because I think it's fantastic. Now, I am not against crossbreeding plants and trees and hybriding things. Most of our most famous citrus trees, for example, and fruits and apples and that have all come from people experimenting and, and crossing trees. I've got no, no qualms about that. I think that's a great idea and it's exciting that all these new different types of crosses and trees can be established so that we can plant them in our own backyard and enjoy them. Well anyway, I just really wanted to show you this sunrise lime. So that'll do for now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget my website, selfsufficientme.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.